what's up guys Fizzor here um, like I said in my last video I'm going to be bringing to you three gameplays of uh, free-for-all on the new majestic map pack uh, for Halo 4 and uh, this is the skyline map this is my second video if you haven't already go back and watch my landfall one um, there's some good tips and tricks here this was just a uh, you know standard FFA that had some nice flashy moves in it and I can also kind of show you guys how to move around the map where you guys want to where your focus should be and and uh, just allow you to give you some direction in your gameplay so let's get right into it um, we're starting up here some infinity rumble uh, this will this will have radar this will have uh, thruster pack armor abilities uh, ordinances and all that but it also causes for a, good, a really fun game so right off the start yeah, let's start. If you guys don't know, there's a shotgun, a sticky dent, and correct me if I'm wrong, I think there's a shotgun on this side that uh, I guess may have been picked up. Um, but I'm going to see that this guy's coming in here, and um, I'm just trying to get there quick. I noticed that he's a little behind. He's kind of over there. So I'm just going to try and get this shotgun, utilize my thruster pack, get in there close, and get a kill. So I do that, cut off the angle, and get a kill. Luckily, I had somebody shooting him with me. I'm able to stay alive and I don't want to challenge anything right now. Now, I just want to get to the top side of the map. This is where you can kind of work and uh, orchestrate all your kills from. Um, <clears throat> you know, if you don't know where you should be going, you can aim to go here and uh, kind of figure out what's going on. So, I get here and there's nobody else here. Now, it, in the beginning of the map, there's only been three kills out of the whole entire game already. It's really important that you uh, you can chill out here for a second and, and see if anybody else meets you here. Um, you really don't want to get here then leave. This is like this is difficult um, to get to at times. Sometimes you'll be on a spawn trap where you can't really get here. So the fact that I made it top mid, I need to just kind of utilize for a second and um, you know see what see what angles I can get. So I uh, I you know I saw some fighting over there. I jump up and throw the nade. But I haven't left this area yet. I just want to see and kind of wait till a kill comes to me. And uh, here's one. And I'm going to start to be able to use this here. I get uh, I use the wall for cover. And, you know, I was talking in a Twitch chat the other day. And somebody was like, the needler is overpowered. It's like, it's so ridiculous. And um, <clears throat> this, is my, this is my answer to it right here. To be able to use this whole wall in cover, really, because... A needler is very strong, but it does leave, it's delayed. So the biggest uh, thing to it is you can put your shots, and then you want to beat these needles. You just got to beat them to the wall so that you actually cut off and you take minimal damage from them uh, entirely. And I actually get all the shots off before I even get there. So that's that's a perfect kill. Um, that's really what you want to see. Now, I see that there's two players moving in on my radar. I have one from here and one from here. Now, I'm more worried about this guy because uh, one of the angles and, uh, yeah, mainly, mainly just the angles because, say I do challenge this guy first, I'm leaving myself exposed to him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the angles here and I'm going to be worried just about him for a second. And I just found out about this. This is a nice uh, ledge to shoot. I don't know what we're going to call these things. We need call us for these maps, but it would look to be uh, benches. I have no idea. <laughs> So I get a nice kill there, and uh, right here I <clears throat> miscalculated how many shots I had. I had to kill him. Um, I'm guessing I, m I missed one shot there, and I missed another shot there, and that caused me not to be able to kill this guy within this clip. Um, I thought that I had just enough shots, but I ended up getting taken out. <clears throat> so I'm coming off the respawn here, and this is one of the bases now if you real quickly i'm going to just break down the map really fast um this is you know you have like a blue ish base and then you have your um your top mid and then you have um uh, you know the another base over here that's going to be red base um then you also have these points on the side where you can jump up on this and then you can do the same thing on these you can uh, jump up on these and this is in a sense if you were to look at it on its basic basic form you have your top center and then you have your two bases and these side these side parts are still kind of part of the bases, but you really want to um, try and get to top mid. So I'm going to be trying to push out of my base here. Um, and <clears throat> now here's a big, a very important decision. You generally do not want to go right here. Um, sometimes you can, but what it's basically doing is you're, you're, it's stopping you from pushing forward to go sideways, which is not very good because most likely there's going to have spawners here, maybe spawners here, 
or even spawning like right here and doing so will push you into their spawns that's not really what you want to do here and here you want to go top mid um so you know i try and get any height advantage that i can to allow me to see maybe some other angles to see what's really going on on the map i see a kill there uh, i'm not going to chase it just yet i see that this guy's coming in to get some shots and be down and this is uh some really fantastic pistol work i'm going to highlight that again um it really just controlled shots make sure that every shot hits uh, you can kind of speed it up at times but that was that was great end up with a shotgun and um right here right here I uh, thought this was going out. It was going to go differently in my head. So uh, I set out. I tried to, you know, jump out there and give him a little thrust action. But uh, really, all I had to do is turn the corner, shoot the shotgun in his face. And uh, I made that difficult on myself, but I wanted to be flashy. I paid the price. Now he here's a good example of when you do want to go to the right. Um, I see a kill right off the spawn. I'm going to be able to put shots on it. Now what I actually wanted to do was stand right up on this ledge, but I'm pretty sure I just fly up over it. I'm just soaring too quickly, you know, a little rushed. But that's okay. As long as I get to these kills quickly, I'll be okay. So I'm able to clean up both of them as one shots, and that that's important. Uh, when you do make a play like that, or even you could look at it as a mistake or something like that, that you're able to correct it and get get uh, to it quickly. Um, and I needed to really get those skills before I could focus on anything else, so I do that. <clears throat> Here, I was just kind of testing out some nades, like see what I could get. What <clears throat> I get that kill really quickly, and then I return to top mid. Um, and actually, you can see how effective this is more in third person. Um, so I get, I have this, these shots. I'm gonna, I saw, I jump off right here to make sure that I get the kill before this guy goes around the corner. If he goes around the corner, it's most likely a lost kill. Like, I'm not really going to be going after it. So, um, just trying to kill this guy in any way I can before he gets around there. So, I do. Now, right here, you're going to be, you can see, um, no, hold on. Yeah, you see this guy, <clears throat> and he's going to be jumping in to try and get the kill. If I had chased this kill in any way, now, this guy has damage boost. That's pretty much, I didn't even know that this guy was here or anything about him. So, it's not like, I uh, knew he was there. That's just kind of like a, a rule of it, I, a rule of thumb. You know, I was getting shot. Um, I knew that if I continued back here, this was my best chance of living or getting an angle or even getting away. So I don't chase down this way at all. I turn around and I go back to top center. Um, now he's going to jump out, and I basically make him look like an idiot. So he's going to be looking uh, over here, and I'm already back top mid. And uh, it enables me to get right behind him. I had the idea, and I catch just a glimpse of him, and that's enough for me to uh, to really, uh, you know, get behind him. Now, if if I were that guy, I would have, and I decided to chase uh, down the kill. I would have jumped here, and then just turned and jumped here, and he probably could have killed me, but he didn't do that. So um, it really enables me to to get some more kills here. Now, using my radar, I see that he's that guy's behind me. I'm going to try and use my thruster and just get right by him um, <clears throat> best I can. And I'll show you guys this in a third third person angle too because um, this is uh, one thing that these maps are great for it is utilizing the thruster pack to its fullest. Um, so uh, right now I'm just trying to get right by him or just get as close to him and cut off the angle. And see, this guy, um, he wasn't expecting the thruster pack, so what he's doing, he's, he's actually going to sprint and push towards me. And by thruster packing, I can get right by him. Now, he is able to get some ridiculous lunge here and smack me, but in the battle, I get him lost. I get him one melee, and now I jump. He looks, and on his screen, he sees nothing. Um, but really, I'm right over his head, and I'm just going to get another melee and get a kill, and that was fantastic thruster work. Um, now, most likely, I'm not going to be able to get away. I'm one shot. I'm in a big open area. Um, so, I'm going to go down. But, regardless, in a free-for-all, that's a huge kill. Now, you can see I'm, I've already got 10 kills while everyone else has 5 and 4. This, uh, coming off the respawn, I, and I really should have called in the Sticky Dead right here before I moved. This is kind of my safest spot. I'm in the, in, haven't moved, just spawned. Um, really good time to call it in. Even by taking these steps and calling this in, this now moves, um, if I called in my ordinance, it would have been like right here. Right now I'm calling it in, it's all the way out here. And uh, this is just poor uh, placement on calling this in. Um, because I noticed that there's a guy that I now have to contest over my own ordinance. And that's not really what you want. I throw two grenades and I get any height advantage I can. 
I'm gonna challenge just a little bit, just just enough to get my sticky debt. I want this is the sticky debt is um, at this point what's gonna save my life um, <clears throat> or cause a trade. Um, so I'm able to get here and I start to utilize this pillar to really um, stay alive. And I thrust her around, I, you know. And <clears throat> the only thing at this point is uh, to try and trade. Um, I messed this whole kill, this whole sequence, even utilizing the sticky dead very well, just by calling in a bad ordinance. But I kind of um, turned it into an okay play by just getting a trade. And that's uh, that's not a bad play, but it could have been a whole lot better. <laughs> so that's really important, especially on these smaller maps like this. Calling in an ordinance is... Um, where you do it and when you decide to do it is, is huge. Don't just call it in just because you have it. Sometimes you should. It's just it's going to be something that you guys have to learn. You really want to make sure you're in a safe position when you call these things in. Um, now, again, off the respawn, I see that there's somebody on my uh, radar already. So immediately going to get any high advantage I can. And I'm going to start to challenge this guy. I drop because he's, he's putting in a lot of fire on me. And it's going to cause him to jump thinking he can hit me. And, uh, you know, really put him in a bad position. So I'm going to use that, get right back up on my height advantage, get even higher than he is, and that's going to allow me to uh, come up with a kill when uh, it, it easily could have gone both ways. Another thing I noticed is, um, I just noticed this now, but coming off of this, re this spawn here, if I jumped on this crate and then jumped on this crate, I probably could have put a lot of damage on him as well. But regardless, I played it out alright, and I end up coming out of there with a kill and staying alive, and that's really what matters. I'm going to take it slow here while my shields are low. I'm going to just kind of get an idea, uh, see. I see a lot of action in this way. And now, <clears throat> I remember doing this, and I had no idea that the cover was this nicely. But, um, I'm trying to remember what happened here. I remember wanting to break this down, though. Oh, uh, yeah, I didn't have to go down like this. Um, all I had to do was pretty much stay here and just kind of, like, see what, uh, you know, use, use that angle in a way. Um, I had already kind of juked one of, one of my opponents, so <clears throat> there was no point chasing him. I could have just sat here and maybe shot that guy a little bit at, if he was weak enough. He is one shot, so I could have cleaned that up. And then you see this other guy coming up from here um, who I could have um, put a couple shots into, jumped, and that would have forced him to use a sticky deck and then continue to challenge and even go top mid. So, But I end up dropping back down, which is kind of a mistake in my part, and end up falling into a grenade. Um, it doesn't do much damage, but it does enough. And when I drop, I look clueless because I checked. That I assumed that this guy went out the window when he really didn't. So um, that's that's a big thing, and that's that's a mistake on my part. But I now know that going into future, uh, you know, situations, how to get out of that, how to avoid that, and how to use the utilize the height advantage and the cover that was there. Able to, and, and I do that instantly like that's how fast I learned this stuff is that once it happens to you once you need to look at it evaluate the situation even in mid game and then um, you know go back and do it the next time so I come off the respawn I end up finding myself in a similar situation and look what I do I get right up on here and I just use it to put down shots uh, so that's that's really how fast I learn in this game and that's how fast um, a good player will adapt and, and learn so, I, I'm still up here, and I'm going to be looking for somebody else to put shots into, so um, I do that. Now, he's going to try and get away, and again, I do exactly what I just said on stream. I didn't even remember that I did this, but this is great that, uh, that I did, because it's going to show you guys just um, how you can get these skills. Now, I am getting shot right in the back by this guy, so all my goal right now is just clean up my kill. That's all I got to try and do. So I jump off, and I get a nice uh, clean up there, and I'm not able to get away. But that was still a fantastic kill, and great um, uh, use of the um, of the wall there, at a height advantage, and, and even the learning the learning curve. Um, show you guys how fast you really want to be at learning and soaking in like what you're what you're doing, even mid game. It can really cause things to turn around for you. Um, it can make a game very simple. It can make a game really frustrating depending on the situations that are going on and how fast you learn from them. So again, he's one shot. I don't want my kill getting away. I need to move in there and be able just enough to get that kill off and that's, that's good. That's fine. 
Uh, I saw a guy was in the player in the base behind me. I'm kind of aware of it, but I'm not. I don't know. I'm just trying to see what's going on. I'm gonna be able to uh, put a nice flank on here. Um, I throw the nade. I don't want to continue back into that base because um, generally there's there's only limited spawns and limited action that's gonna go on in the back of the base. So that's why you know you want top mid. So I'm not gonna continue to chase that kill anymore. And I may have um, you know I did a good job of you know seeing if I want to go in there. There's only one kill there. I could be. I need to go where all the spawns are, so I decide not to chase it, and I'm going to go back up top mid, and just really look for any angles or any kills that I can clean. So, <clears throat> coming out here, I don't see anything, so I'm going to continue to top mid, and that's really something, if you don't know, if you feel lost, if you don't know where you should go, just try and continue to get height advantage and continue to get to uh, top center, especially on a map like this. Um, there's just so much chaos and so much spawns, and you can't really predict everything. But what you can do is your best bet of staying alive is getting kills is right here in the center. And as you see, the kills just kind of come to me. The angles are good. Everything just works for you. I don't want this guy getting away, so I'm going to drop down and get the kill. Utilize the lift, get right back up there, and I'm top mid again. And this is what you want to do, especially on this map. Um, you want to be top mid. You want to drop when you have to. Get back up as soon as you can. You want to just stay around the center area. And I can't stress that enough. And uh, really just get all your kills from there. Now... I didn't know this guy had a shotgun, but I'm about to get destroyed, and I'll show you guys that. <laughs> Not much you can do there. The kid's going off. Shot. I mean, that's just a good example of how the power weapons are really, uh, really useful, especially because you have shotguns and sticky data, sticky detonators on a small map. That's huge. Um, right here, I'm just playing off my radar a little bit, kind of seeing what's going on. Not missing shots. Able to clean up both of them. Now I notice I have a rail gun. I'm like. This is going to be sweet. Um, so I'm pretty sure I call it in here. I do. I felt safe enough calling an ordinance. And that's a good time to call it. You're in a power position. You're safe and uh, able to get a kill here. And really put this thing quickly to use. Especially with utilizing the angles from top mid. Um, so I get a double there. I'm looking for the triple. And I'm just not really sure where to look yet. Uh, maybe it wasn't available. Maybe I looked in the wrong spot. I'm not really too sure. Again, I see that guy running off. I'm going to let him go. Try to go for a little crazy shot, but get, I want to stay alive. So I drop down, and I'm going to be able to use this lift and, uh, to get right back up. And with a railgun, um, you can challenge when you have low shields because um, you can clean up really quick kills if you're very precise and good with it. So um, I thrust up here, and I don't know if I do it, but maybe start. Yep, see, instantly start charging. See, that's good um, because uh, I'm weak. I assume that I'm going to be running into somebody when I challenge to a top position like this so the fact that i lifted up there i didn't see anybody that means that i might have a guy uh chasing me and indeed with a radar it makes it easier that i do so uh <clears throat> he's not there yet uh that first charge was for anybody that was top middle and there's nobody there so i'm able to press yy on my controller and uh, that resets the uh the charge of the railgun and now i'm ready for anybody that lifts up so that is um you know a lot of people would ask me for railgun tips um, that right there is kind of the best thing I can do for you. Um, it's really, to utilize a railgun efficiently, it's really about how you move around. It's when you charge up, when you don't shoot, and all that kind of stuff. So I charge up for anybody that was there. There's nobody there. I press Y. I press Y again to uh, switch weapons and cancel the charge. Load it back up and uh, get the kill on the guy that's chasing me. And that just makes it look simple. It makes it easy on you. And I'm going to use some height advantage here to get some shots. The kid gets away, I need to worry about now this guy on my radar. Um, you know, and I do an excellent job with the thruster pack here to cut off this angle. So, I'll show you guys that in front of the third person. <laughs> I see him on my radar. Right away, my goal is to get right back here in this corner. I feel safe in this corner. I can get, like, you know, I can cause, I can force him to have to walk all the way from here to potentially get shot by other people, to walk up here, to give me a chance to get my shields, to, like, make a, a play happen. So that's what I do. I'm gonna get here in the corner, and uh, and I and I <clears throat> instead of doubling back to challenge him, which is gonna be right in his line of fire. In this case, he's reloading, so he doesn't. He's put on a nice little stance there, but um. So I'm gonna get right up on him, and even though I'm weak, what I'm gonna do is put a couple shots and and evaluate the situation. Um, if he's able to shoot me, and, and like I do, I drop right away. So I get up there, I put a couple shots, I drop. So the, what that's going to do, that's going to cause him to, and, and you see it. You see it in, in his movement. He gets scared. He jumps. Um, but what it's going to do is he's going to go from aiming here to have to aim here to have to aim back. And you're forcing them to aim and, 
and position themselves differently and just move. And you can even, I'll even show you that from uh, this guy's point of view. I think it's this guy, maybe he does here. Yeah. So he's coming off the respawn. And uh, this is what it looks like. I thrust her away. He's not able to do anything. I'm still there. And he doesn't even realize how weak I am. But look at just how nice of a play this is. To even just put two shots. And look at how much damage I'm able to do. I've taken out half his shields before he's even touched me. And I really can't afford for him to hit me at all. So I'm going to continue to just start going up and down on that power position. And just try and stay alive as best I can. Get even more high advantage when I have just maybe one or two shots left. So that I can guarantee the kill. End up getting a ridiculous kill when I, uh, if you look at it shields wise, I really should have come out of there dead, but I played it correctly and, um, really did this nicely. So, this was a good play to kind of break down. And, uh, the, I have to, you know, say special thanks to the thruster pack, um, the height advantage, and this was really just a nice kill. The thruster pack, uh, on this guy. Could have worked, but he had a nice pulse grenade, and this, these things are deadly. Um, being in this corner, or if I had been a frag, what most likely would have happened is it bounced, and it would have gone up here, and I would have been able to slip right by, but being a pulse, I go right through it, and that's going to bring me down to one shot. So um, I'm going to try and get a shot and a beat down, and that's pretty much all I can do at this point. Um, if he's weak enough, I'll end up with a kill. If not, I end up going down, and that's just, that's all right. I'm at 22 kills, everybody's out. The next person is at 13, 11, 11, 11, 10, 9, and 7. So I'm pretty much leading the charge here. Now, this is big too, because um, <clears throat> I come off this respawn, I, th I see these guys down here. I don't like to go down to low ground. It would not have given, uh, benefited me at all. So what I do is I throw a grenade down there, and it's these maps are designed very nicely. So I'm able to bounce a grenade down there and actually do some damage, um, as you can see by the hit marker there. Now I'm coming along, and I want to clean up that kill before anything. Um, you know, if you want to look at it technically, what I think I could have done is maybe jump up on on this ledge, and then jump up on this wall, and that would have really given me some nice height advantage. But um, regardless, I'm just trying to get in there and get that kill. So I get two shots, and I saw this guy soaring in on my right, who's actually right here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up going up and over as he goes around, and just give him the juke real quick. So I'm actually outplaying him while cleaning up a kill. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm able to get that kill. I do, and I, again, I don't want to chase any further um, than I have to because I really have to worry about this guy. Now, I actually want to see what happened here because this turns into a really crazy situation. So I'm working on this kill. I get this. And two guys are coming. I'm sandwiched right here. They both thrust her in to, to smush me, and I just to step to the side. Um, and I get right behind him. Now, I thrust her backwards as an instinct to um, this guy pushing up from from here. But I want to try to do it is get behind him. I was a little disoriented in the situation. I saw the radar, and basically I want to make I want to make these two guys fight so that I can step out for a second and c clean up any weak kills. So, um... I'm able to get a beat, uh, a kill on him, and that's going to cause me to get a double, and then a nice beat down triple for the uh, to end the game with a nice victory of 25 kills. Um, so if you guys want, I'll show you guys this a couple different times because this was really a nice way to finish. Clean up the one shot and the beat down. Um, so I'll go ahead and uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. You know, I hope this gameplay helps on Skyline. I hope that you guys are enjoying the maps. Um, and I hope that you guys subscribe to the YouTube. I, I plan to come out with a lot more content to uh, help, uh, you know, maybe your social player or somebody who wants to become a competitive player and really become a, a solid Halo player. This game is very fun um, as soon as you start to become very good at it. And if you're not, it can be extremely frustrating. So I understand that. And uh, I just would like to, um, you know, Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this, and I hope that was really helpful. And last thing is I'd like to give a shout-out to the TARP. Um, if you guys did not know, this is the TARP that has been uh, spoken about so many times. And it is really overpowered and needs to be nerfed. But, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, continue to subscribe, watch, and support me. Um, so, yeah, take it easy.